Goodbye, Google Form. Hello, Magic Link. Hi, I'm Lake. Thank you so much for being a Speed Diagnostics customer. And in this video, I'm going to show you the new way of registering your sample. That's right, the RE CAPTCHA to prove you're human is gone, replaced with a much easier to use form. So let's get right into those details. One thing that hasn't changed is you'll still go to speeddiagnostics.com and you're gonna click on sample registration. But instead of the Google form popping up, you're gonna see this page. All you have to do is enter in your email address and then click submit. You will receive an email with a link to the new form. Just follow the link on that email and it will bring you right here to the sample submission form. Now here's the great thing about this form. It's smart. It knows your history. And we've even loaded your sample history and the different vehicles you've used with your email address. So if you already have a vehicle that you've been sampling, all you have to do is select it from your list. All that information's already in there, then you just complete the information relative to this sample. But if you have a new vehicle or you're a first time customer, just click on create new vehicle and you can select your vehicle type. What is it? Is it a car, a truck, is it a boat, airplane? Whatever it is, just select the appropriate type so we know how to interpret this data within the proper context. Then give it a name. I'll enter my car in here real quick. If you have the VIN, you can enter in the VIN and it will auto-populate the year, make, and model. If you don't have the VIN, don't worry about it. You can just go ahead and enter it in manually. After that, select the appropriate application for the vehicle and engine type. As always, enter in the sample ID number that is listed on the bottle label. This is how we tie everything together at the lab. Then enter in the sample date, which the calendar gives you. Today's date pops up automatically. Next, you can enter in the number of miles or hours on the sample. Don't do both, just one or the other, please. Start with the number of miles on this oil change. So if it's been 3,000 miles since the last oil change, enter in 3,000 miles. Then enter in the odometer reading on the car. How many miles are on the car or engine total? Then we need to know, has the oil been changed? Yes or no. And is this sample a used oil sample or is this a virgin sample for comparison? The last few things we need to know is what kind of fluid is it? Is it an engine oil, a gear oil, transmission fluid? Choose the appropriate one. Then the appropriate options pop up. We need to know what kind of fuel is being used so we can test for it appropriately. We also need to know what brand of oil it is and what viscosity it is. Almost home, only a few more questions. Have any additives been used in the oil or the fuel? And we need to know, are you interested in extending your drain interval? Some folks are just gonna change their oil on a very set basis, time or miles, but we can also give you guidance based on the data to tell you when you should change your oil. And we're gonna be conservative. We're not gonna tell you some crazy number. We're just gonna go based on what the science says and give you that data if you're interested. Last but certainly not least is the notes section. Here is your chance to give us extra information about this sample, about your car, about the oil, things that are going on that will be helpful for us in interpreting these results so we can give you more valuable information from this sample. And when that's done, just click submit and you're done. It's that simple. No CAPTCHA image challenge, no email confirmation needed. All of your information is stored. Just go ahead, send in the sample and we will do the rest.